My friends and I started a Facebook group so we could share pictures of dumb shit that we found in the far corners of the internet with each other. It was like our uh, dank meme cloud with ratings and commentary. One day, my friend uploads a picture of a woman on a couch lifting up her shirt and showing her tits. We all gave it a like, etc. and moved on, and the next day we got a group message. Someone's a rat. We go back and check and find that the picture of the woman was removed. It was unanimously decided that that shit is weak. This is a closed, secret group, and we're posting all of our photos directly. We aren't sharing from a public page. It had to be one of us. And as expected, nobody came clean. A friend says, Posts don't just flag themselves, and then he left the group like some kind of airy faggot. But maybe they do. I got to thinking. I crafted a hypothesis, and I started to do some experiment. I made my own private group, where I was the only member. I posted a dozen or so pictures of seemingly innocent things as variables. You know, kittens, and it was a bowl of fruit. As I expected, nothing happened, so I posted that picture of the girl on the couch again. And a few hours later, I checked on it and it was removed. My initial suspicion was that maybe the image was somewhere in an archive of blacklisted images and they had some kind of algorithm that scans every newly uploaded photo and checks it against it. This somewhat confirmed my hypothesis, though I wanted more evidence before I brought it up to the boys. I needed more samples. Instead of just going about the usual avenues, I concluded that I needed fresh material. Material guaranteed to not be in this hypothetical database. I went onto Reddit and I asked a bunch of girls in r slash gone wild to take pictures of their breasts and send them to me for research. I explained that this is not a joke, that I am not being cute or trying to be funny. I am, in fact, a freelance journalist writing a piece for Vice, and I'm trying to uncover the bias of Facebook's censorship algorithm. I lazily photoshopped a picture of one of Vice's journalists with that piece of paper from another AMA he did to show the subreddit name and the date on it. Much to my surprise, they cooperated with me and tried to interact with me. I told them that I have a boyfriend and I blocked them. By the time my thread was locked and my account was banned, I had 17 new images taken that evening, verified through the metadata embedded in the images. And I had several fakes taken out for the first six or so rows of Google. I posted five of these images at roughly the same time and held on to the others in case something unexpected came up. And what do you know? It did. The next morning was a Saturday. I had no work, so I woke up at 11.30 in the morning. I signed on to check what had become of my sample data when, to my shock, I discovered that they too were missing. As far as I had known, these images were completely fresh and existed only in my Gmail folder and the girl's device. My second experiment had proven my first hypothesis incorrect. I began to try to puzzle together what was happening, and then a thought popped into my head. A sentence I constructed almost entirely out of buzzwords to convince these girls. Maybe, maybe there was a Facebook censorship algorithm. Maybe Facebook had constructed some program to scan an image for an exposed areola. I still had 12 sample images to work with, so I figured, hey, I could expend one or two to test it. I opened up paint, and I took that picture of the bowl of fruit I had, and I cut out a girl's breasts and pasted it right onto the bowl of fruit. I uploaded that and began working on another, and I let them sit for... A couple hours, I went for a walk, and when I came back to check on them, not, you know, an hour and a half later, I found that my posts were fucking removed. Unbelievable. I was dumbfounded. I just paint shopped a pair of tits onto a bowl of fruit, and Facebook fucking caught me. Maybe I had stumbled onto something. In my excitement, I, I was desperate to find other ways to prove it. I, I wondered if maybe my account itself had been flagged as some kind of frequent inappropriate poster kind of deal. So I signed up for a new account and I tried posting one of the remaining pictures in another group. And this time the tits were photoshopped into a picture of a five star resort. And wouldn't you know it, the son of a bitch found me. Maybe it was my IP. I ran to my car with the pictures on a thumb drive and I sped down to the local library. I ran to the first computer I saw and with blatant disregard for my surroundings I began my work. I made a new account, posted in a new group from a new IP, and photoshopped a new set of tits onto a barren desert. Fuckers found me! I was sitting in the library, gritting like a madman. I felt like a sodding scientist. I pulled my thumb drive out, shut down the computer, and I walked out to my car. I cried with laughter for ten full minutes in my car. My soul was enriched. My heart was full, and I knew what I had to do. I went back inside after I composed myself. I took out a book on C++ because it's the only programming language I've ever heard of. I drove back home and began reading, following along with the examples. I did not sleep that evening. All day Sunday, I ate hot fries and programmed in the buff. I taught myself about recursion, and I began to practice. At 9.36 p.m., I called my boss and I told him I had a family emergency and I would not be able to come in this week. 
At 9.45, I sent an email to my ISP and I told them that I want to upgrade to the home business plan. And by Monday morning, I was high speed, high bandwidth. I spent the next seven days programming. That Sunday night, I let it loose. I had developed a program. It sent every single image from every website it went through back to another program I had running in parallel. Using Facebook's API, I uploaded every picture to a private secret group. This program kept a log of all of the URLs to these pictures. I had a third program that would check the URLs of these pictures. And if the URL was unavailable, I had a hit. I had found a titty. At 11 p.m. every evening, a fourth program would purge the collection of anything not classified as a hit. After one month of operation, I have 2,130,214,761 images of titties across nine one terabyte hard drives categorized by nipple to breast ratio as well as 39 missed calls, 121 texts from concerned friends and family. I have still not told any of my friends what I have found.